Good morning, everyone. Ah! Dedge. Literally died. Didn't even get five seconds. Absolutely dedge. First of all, congratulations, Eccentric, Syrinx, and Blue for first, second, and third, respectfully. And also, hello, Syrinx, hello, Eccentric, hello, Blue, hello, 4B, how are you doing today? And hello, Brian, and hello, Freedom, how are you guys doing? Oayamu, Shinderu, exactly. Freaking dead right now. Insta-murdered. Literally came up on stage, and Freedom was just like, target acquired. And Eccentric's here to finish the job. Dead. I deceased. I have ceased to be. I am no longer one with the mortal realm. I am incorporeal. I am between worlds. They call me the clean. Have you seen Venture Bros by any chance, Eccentric? not dang it without spoiling anything there's a part in the show uh where a couple of fellas die this is not uh how to say this is not a spoiler because the show has a fair bit of violence but there's a part where one of the characters is like find the little black book on the table look up a guy called the cleaner <laughs> he'll help us out just when you said, just like, they call me the cleaner, I'm just like, and that's, and that's eccentric right there. He's in the little black book under the title, The Cleaner. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have no idea what I'm drawing today. The prompts are... Sports, sweat, passion. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how to approach that. I only just found out about these prompts about two minutes before stream. I will not say what goes well with those prompts, but I'll think about it. Oh, dear. See, a part of me was thinking maybe do like, uh, maybe this is not good, but shoulder. Mm, maybe pull it in just a little bit closer. Oh, I don't like that. I want it to be proportional. Like that, and then... Kind of like that, and then have, like, a sweat drop on the chin kind of idea. It's at least where my brain goes. Because then we have... Oh, and we'll have, like, a the hint of, like, a sports, ja a sports jersey of some kind. I don't know how I'm going to do a sports jersey, but... Oh, actually, maybe if we do this. Arm. No, no, that's not the arm that's doing the drinking. This is just the, the casual arm. Because I don't know how the hell to draw that in particular. Like an arm going down. It would have to be more up, wouldn't it? Boop. In order for, to do the... How do I say the... How do I have that be? Let be that way. No, I wouldn't know how to do that. No, no, that's too complicated. 
That's too complicated. Everything about that idea is immediately being is being vetoed. And hello, Syrinx. Oh, that already doesn't make sense either, does it? Because that makes the shoulders incredibly small. Hold on a second, everybody. I was not expecting to just like immediately dive into this. We'll rechat in a second. Regardless of that, there'd have to be a hand, wouldn't there? Mmm, I want to avoid the hand. Well done, are you going to eat some cake for two years? I do not have any cake, Blue, so no. I'd imagine sports would be a tough one, especially if you plan on putting a character in motion. I'm going to avoid putting a character in motion. I'm going to do more of a character drinking water commercial style. Like, maybe have literally just, like, sports <laughs> written right here. Need water. Easy. This prompt is a perfect opportunity to draw a... During the Blood Games. Eccentric, you are mistaking me for someone who can draw. No, 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 no. I do something that I can draw in an hour. Maybe two. And one of those hours is dedicated to coloring. Sportsman, exactly. Sportsman, the new, the new hydration. And then in brackets, it's just water. Yeah, and I don't know how to draw fluids. So that's also like gonna be a situation. Because I was thinking maybe having it that, like, a little bit of water trickles down so that there's, like, you know, like, a water droplet here. But I don't know how to draw that, so that's a, that's a, that's a sitch. I was trying to see if maybe I could draw it in, like, a, in, like, a kaju style. But he has a very clean and smooth style, something that I know I can't replicate and will just be frustrated about if I do. To the references. Unfortunately, I'd have to go and find Kaju stuff, and I don't think he posts it in the actual channel, which makes it very difficult. Let me see here. Where would I find this? Could you? Yeah, he doesn't post his art. At least as far as I'm aware. Hold on. Ooh, how would I do that last one? There, perfect. All right, sorry for being a little bit quiet for a second. I'm trying to think of multiple things on how to approach this in particular. I just don't know how to do it, which is makes things difficult. I am trying to look for, like, drinking water bottle reference, but 
Oh, but if you do... What if you do drinking water from bottle? Okay, it's a little bit better. Oh, actually, this kind of helps in terms of reference. Go back to there. Not to derail, but how would you describe my art style? I don't, I would need to see some references of your art style specifically, Brian, in order to be able to do that. One moment, there's the thing, there's my reference. This particular image is perfect for my reference. everyone again and yeah blue I'm sorry I don't have any cake I don't know I'm not even that concerned about the two years I don't have anything planned for it like it's just more like yeah I started two years ago today yeah I played um, the hell did I play again? Valheim. That's right. That was my first game I ever streamed. I was like, I need something that I'm comfortable with. And I've been putting an insane amount of solo time into Valheim. So let's just do more Valheim. I a little bit exhausting. It, I don't, how to say, I'm very bad at celebrating things eccentric. Like, I don't celebrate my birthday, I don't celebrate, or, well, I don't really celebrate my birthday. Other people celebrate my birthday, and I'm forced to celebrate it. I don't, like, celebrate most holidays, you know? It's mostly just like, oh, that thing's happening? Cool. Nice, I hope everybody's having a good time. But, like, for, like, Christmas, I don't want stuff. I don't want to give stuff. Just... I'll go visit people, but that's the extent of it. You know, like, Thanksgiving was last weekend, and... Well, the Canadian Thanksgiving was last weekend, and it was just like, Oh, that's neat. People get a day off. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Speaking of which, hello, Cobalt. First of all, thank you for the stretch, and thank you for the hydrate. I'm going to go ahead and take that hydrate real quick first. We're enjoying ourselves a nice cup of peppermint tea, so... But I can also do the stretch. If you guys would like to join along, by all means do so. And if not, that's cool. Then hello, Cobalt. Yes. Technically, today is the day I started streaming two years ago. And I know there would have been people in chat that would have sassed me if I didn't at least mention it. So I'm mentioning it. But we're not doing anything special with it. Dang it, Cobalt! What did I just say? Cobalt VT gifted at tier 1 sub to Bug Shield. Oh, you hit some big names there. Bug. Cobalt VT gifted at tier 1 sub to Master Liggend Streepje Awadi. Awadi. Brian. To Trujan. And to Songbird. Cobalt nice. VT gifted at tier 1 sub to Brian Filmartin. Yeah, I'm just doing art. It's just an art stream today. You bum, but also thank you. Cobalt VT gift. gifted at tier 1 sub to Truin 1. Uh, Truin. Oh wow, they say Truin, not Trujan. Cobalt VT gifted at tier 1 sub to Songbird 16. In Dutch, it, like a trou is like a shirt. So Truin is like shirts like plural 
just love that. Just like thrown ain, which is very fun because it would imply that you're saying like shirts one, you know, like implying that it's simultaneously a a plural and a singular. <laughs> Cobalt, you brum. I hope that the week has been treating you well and that the weekend has been going well so far. We have wonderful overcast at the moment. Ooh, uh, Alan Laf Lafell? I hope I'm saying that correctly. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hello, I'm here for the Sheepy Committee to give you season's greetings for the upcoming Halloweenies. Well, thank you very much. And Owa, hello. Alan, hello. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. For those who don't know, my name is Will Sleeps Not. You were saying it correctly. I did it! For those who don't know, my name is Will Sleeps Not. You may call me Will, you may call me Sleeps, you may call me Will Sleeps Not. I am an ADHD dyslexic insomniatic uh, VTuber who plays a variety of games, and on Saturdays I do art. If that sounds appealing to you and all, then by all means, sit back, relax, get cozy, get comfy. And if not, thank you so much for stopping by, and hope that you have a great rest of your day. What you drawing? Uh, so... My friend Kajumaju, another streamer, does Art Week. So once a week, he gives us one to three prompts uh, for drawing. And then at the end of the week, we all submit it to his Discord. And we get to look at it on Saturday, on Sundays or sometimes on Mondays, depending on his schedule. So today's or this week's prompts are sports, sweat, Welcome. and passion. And Venny VT, thank you so much for the raid, or thank you so much for the follow. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I read raid. That was the, that was the situation. Thank you so much for the follow. It's very kind of you. So, yeah, we have to draw sports, sweat, and passion. We can pick one, two, or all three of those. I am a go hard, and even though I'm really bad at art, I choose uh, all of them because that's who I am. Will you stop doing that so that I can actually give a shout out, please? Thank you. Sorry, my mouse was being funky. I think my uh, my drawing tablet or my drawing pen was too close to the thing. And you were doing Fear and Hunger. Wait, Fear and Hunger has a second game? Interesting. I didn't even get some rest of uh, Venny. Is Venny not sleeping? Uh, really forces you to think in different ways. Absolutely, Alan. That's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to draw. It's 6 a.m. Good morning. Oh, no. Are you like me where you stay up all night and then go, uh-oh. <laughs> I have a day ahead of me. And, yeah, I'm going to put, like, a sports logo of some kind here. Or, like, a joking one. Like, sportsman, fuel your passions. Brackets, it's just water, end bracket. <laughs> Venny, I'm worried about you. Please, as someone who suffers from insomnia, get rest if you can. It's good for you. Hold on. My microphone is not where I want it to be. There we go. That's better. Sleep is good for the brain. Exactly. Oh, and I'm glad to hear that it was good. Hold on. Uh, at this point, though, it really is just fear and death with the amount of times I've died. Oh, yeah. It's a very punishing game, if I recall correctly. Yes, Alan? Nope. I slept an hour ago and came to your channel. Ah. So there was some sleep to be had. We accept this. And yeah, the game is brutal. Yeah, actually speaking of Kaju, um, Kaju Maju, he is the one who who has made who is who is also interested in playing it at some point and has mentioned just like yeah, the game is borderline mean, where it's just like don't fight things. It's not worth fighting things. Kept getting cornered and there was an enemy that kept coming back to life after I killed him. Oh no. Where you're just like, why won't you just stay dead? Please! <laughs> Brutal. And also mood. Oh, 
Also, by no means do you have to do this, Alan, but if you need to, to take some time to, like, step away and take care of some things, do some of the post-stream stuff that uh, people enjoy doing, by all means, don't feel pressured to stick around. But if you do want to stick around, you're more than welcome to be here. I always enjoy the company. Well, at this point in the second game, if you kill opponents and cut off their heads, you use them to sacrifice them. Oh! Interesting. Okay, so they're adding mechanics. I have some time to witness your art skills before I cook. I'm watching. Oh, no. But my art is bad. I don't do art well. I do this because I'm determined to make an art every week. But no such thing as bad art. art. <laughs> watching. Judging. <laughs> Panicking. The only hope I have. And you're good, by the way, Brian. You do what you gotta do. You have no obligation to, to be here the whole time. Or even here at any time. I don't expect anybody to be here. I stream because... If someone does show up, I hope to be of entertainment. But if they don't, that's totally okay. No obligations. <sighs> now, how do I want to do that? I mean, technically, this is the sketch, right? Like, this is exactly what it's going to be. Or chat to yourself, too. Uh, I get that. It's fun just to chat with chat. Or to chat with yourself. Exactly, Alan. There's no... Gotta head to bed, work uh, work calls in the morning. I'll catch you on the flip, my dude. No problem at all, 4B. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have yourself a good night. Sleep well. I'm sorry you have to work on a Sunday. Boo. Good luck, be brave. I believe in you, my dude. Cheers. That tunk was a, was a fist bump. I hope that that came across. <laughs> Wish I could sleep as comfortable as I used to years ago. Waking up numb isn't fun. Uh, oh well, nothing to do. Uh, except flail around until the feeling comes back. Oh no, failure by winning. Do you mean that you slept on like a limb incorrectly? And Spencer, how's it going, my dude? of our abilities. And this is definitely the one that Kaju uses. Because he uses it very well. Whereas I do not. So. We're going to try to do something with it. But. No promises. Alright. So. one more time. It's more of a this shape. And then we come down. Oh god, I'm going to be stuck on this chin for a very long time, aren't I? Mm. Maybe okay. Lay on my back. Apparently rolled onto my side while out cold. Somehow woke up still on my back, but I'm also feeling both arms. It's on. I've had that before, failure by winning. I once fell asleep on this really... How to describe it? You know those couches that you just sink into? I passed out on one of those by accident once on, on my stomach, and when I woke up, like, both my arms were just completely numb. Like, to the point of where I couldn't, like, get up because my arms were numb. So I just basically would, like, lean in one direction, like, f try to force my fingers to move, and then lean in the other direction and force my fingers to move. 
and then it just turns into a, like basically the, what is it, like the kill bill, you know, wiggle your big toe situation where you're like, all right, I can start moving the tips of my fingers and then eventually you can close your hands and then you can move your wrists and then your elbows start to move and then you can start moving your shoulders again and then you're like, okay, and up we go. Waking up with numb limbs is the worst. I made a point to never sleep on my side or under my arm. I sleep in a way that every day I should technically wake up, up with numb limbs, but I don't. I just sleep in one... How to say it? I've found a way to sleep in a way that it doesn't happen. But I've had it before. I remember the first time that my arm ever went numb when I woke up. I was like, oh, this is weird. So, like, you know, I, like shifted like my torso so that my arm would just kind of flail and I'm like well, I hope the feeling comes back and then without really thinking I kind of shifted to grab something that I couldn't because that hand was numb and my arm just like noodle wise just slapped against the wall super hard and I was like oh <laughs> but didn't feel anything of course because my arm is numb and my arm just limply lays beside me and I'm like uh oh well I'm not sure what to do. I'm kind of freaking out. And then at one point I was like, well, wait, what if I just try to move my hand? And then I see like one finger bend and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. We're still good. We're still good. And then slowly start forcing, you know, like flexing the muscles in my hand. And it's like, and then hand closed. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to be fine. But in those first like four minutes, it was like, or like first felt like four minutes but it was probably like first like what 20 seconds i'm like i'm gonna lose my arm i'm gonna lose my arm panic <laughs> but that was silly thinking because that never happened it's the worst uh like your armors being or your arm is being refilled by blood and feel uh didn't feel anything on the moment of impact exactly uh, I was lucky enough to be awoken a bit earlier than usual by girlfriend paying a surprise visit. Probably would have woken up even number if she hadn't shown up. Oh, so like you could still kind of move your hands then. Uh, failure by winning, I presume. Like there was like that pins and needles and everything feels sluggish. But you could still move it. My experience is I sleep through that until I wake up, and then it's like, arm is just like, you know, like that scene in Harry Potter where he loses all the bones in his arm. Like that kind of idea where it's just like you lift the arm up and then let go and it just flops to the ground again. And you're just like, come on now, wake up, we have things to do. We have school, you gotta, you gotta do things, you silly hand. I had the in my hand was sleep the wrong way. It can take a while to get the feeling back when it happens. I find that if you just focus on moving your digits, it can help force it back pretty quick. Like just slowly start really focusing on the movement of your fingers. Like just bend them and then straighten them and bend them and straighten them. Just bone saw your arm off the fear and the fear and hunger way. It's just holding you back. Ah! Wait, bone saw as in like one of those old saws that was like legitimately just made to like cut through bones. Although there was this bone saw once that somebody created that was like basically the equivalency of like a hand crank chainsaw. It, it basically, you know, like those autumn, like how to say it, those manual like egg beaters that have like a little round part with basically looks kind of like a pedal. Um, or looks like a bicycle pedal and you just grab it and spin it. It was like that, but with like serrated edges around an edge that was supposed to be to cut through bones, but you couldn't make enough torque to actually do it. Like, it was useless because it would just get stuck in the bone. <laughs> Once you made it past, like, a certain part. Because, like, if anybody here has ever worked with, like, 
like a handsaw before or um or even with a chainsaw like if you're working with like wood and you cut and like the wood bends in a specific specific way it will just pinch the saw or the chainsaw and it's useless that way right because you can't do anything like now imagine that you can't you're doing that to bone but with an object that you have to hand turn like it was so bad yeah the wood will pinch the spin the, the spinning blade yeah now imagine doing that with a piece of bone <laughs> Uh, you have to level two woods uh, to ensure that it doesn't happen. Exactly. You gotta either level it or you gotta make it that it's bending in the opposite direction, right? Like, in terms of shapes, if you're cutting into, like, a board... Well, we'll just, we'll just cut it. When you cut into it, you're technically doing this, right? Like, this part disappears. But what happens in the situation that we're talking about... Not how I thought this was gonna go. Boop. This essentially happens. It pinches ag against the bl against the thing that's in the center of it. Whereas what you want to have happen is it starts doing this. Because if it does this, you have more room to dig down. Now that this has its own little problems to it to some degree too, but this is the better alternative. But now, like, imagine that you're trying to cut through. A piece of bone. Where's that pin? Sunk. You know, and the bone is down here. And the one thing that we need to remember too, right, is that bones, if you're looking at this cross reference, it's this. So as you're cutting downwards, until you get past the middle, the middle is the thickest part. That is where the most force is required. Right? Like, this is super thin. This gets to about here. But then you have the thickest part. This is where the most work is required. And when you have the equivalency of, like... We'll just do this and then just serrate, serrate. You know, just chainsaw style. I'll just do this real quick. Boop, boop. I am drawing those freaking lines on the actual thing. Son of a bleep. Blip. But then the end of it is like... A hand crank? With, I think, like a handle on the end of it? At one point, you're not going to be able to create enough force to get through that center, to, to get through this part. It's just not gonna happen. The reason that chainsaws can do it is that you start with an overwhelming power and you can just increase the power as you go, right? Like if you reach that part. But if you're doing that with your bare hands, essentially, like, even with, like, uh, what the heck is it called again? Like, the gear system idea, you know, that one crank of this is actually going to make this turn, like, twice. Just, you can't do it. It's just not going to happen. And that's just how it is. Like, it's, it's, yeah. Are we talking about putting femurs in pencil sharp? Wait, Syrinx, what the heck are you talking about? No, I'm talking about a bone saw. A specifically a hand crank bone saw. And it's just, ugh, it's horrifying. Like, imagine being that person. And especially, this would have been the era where, like, general uh, anesthetics would not have... Is it anesthetics? I think it's anesthetics that I'm thinking of. Like, those wouldn't have existed yet. Um. And you just... You just wouldn't have... How to say it? You would be sitting there, probably awake, hopefully drunk, and they're trying to amputate your limb, 
And this guy comes in with like a, Behold, my new invention. No, no, put away that handsaw. This is what we need to use. And then they do, and then it gets stuck. And you are just laying there. Whiskey, humanity's finest anesthetic. Well, that's what it used to be. I think they did that with pulling teeth back in the day, too. And then they started using cocaine, because cocaine apparently makes your makes your gums numb. One second. <sighs> <laughs> Excuse me. One moment. What time is it? 40 min. Oh, thanks, Blue. Eh, we'll say 30. Whew. But yeah, long story short, ah, terrifying. No, please. Why is there? Because my, my mods hate me, Cobalt. That's why. But yeah, there you go. A lesson in terrifyingness that is medical history. And now I have to redraw that part. Rip. Make sure to timestamp the time for the sneeze compilation. Compilation two, Cobalt, number two's already out. I'm like two away from comp three. This one included specifically. Yeah, no, they're my most viewed freaking videos. It's very upsetting. <laughs> one of them has like 12K views. I think the other one's at like four. K specifically. And hello, Dorn. How are you doing today? Listen, some people like feet and some people like to listen to people sneeze. Yeah, I know, it's weird. People are like, I enjoy listening to the sounds of people dying. ASMR. Instead, the S stands for sneeze. Oh, snap, when did you get a... Oh, I've had this for, like, a year at this point? No. Yes? Yes. Yes. I just finally put it in here because then, if I really want to get close and talk with chat, I can be like, ah. I just finally have an art thing for it. For the funsies. How is it? I've heard good. I've heard it's good, Mike. I like it personally. I'm still trying to figure out, even though I've had it for a year, how long, how far away I need to be from it, and I need to be away from it further than I think I do. But it's a good mic. It's got good quality. Eat the mic. Am gone. Mic completely consumed. What you're hearing right now is the what you can hear in my stomach. I'm sorry, everyone, that this is how it has to be. Actually, that'd be garbled and noisy as hell. Because the stomach is noisy. Mike eating ASMR went... Ugh, Jesus. The most expensive ASMR out there. And the most, like, health risk problemed. And also, hello, Novak. How are you? Hello, Novak. How are you? Very forward-facing Mike, too. You usually have to be pretty close. Yeah, but, like, this is how close I normally am, and I feel like it's too close. But, like, right here, I think, is the sweet spot. Though I'm still trying to figure it out. I move the arm around and go back to my VODs and go, like, which one's the best? Though, technically, I should be doing this off stream because I'm stupid. Doing okay? How about yourself? I'm doing all right. Was a little bit late for stream today, but that's okay. forgive you. You didn't even know it happened until just now, Novak. Nice try.
Great for talking and such, not instrumental or anything though. Yes, I have definitely heard that, Dorn. Where like, don't use it for instruments. I can't remember what's a good one for instruments though. Technically, like, the entry blue Yeti, if you set up the parameters properly, you can use it for instrumental stuff. But you do need to, like, prep it pretty well. But, like, the blue Yeti is, like, a pretty intro mic for a lot of people. Like, it's pretty good for... How to say it? It's one of those, like, jack-of-all-trade mics where it's, like, kind of pretty good at, like, most things. Like, you can talk with it. You can do music with it. It's, like, pretty popular for, like, the ASMR community. Like, <laughs> it does the goods if set properly. But I wanted one of these really bad. And I hadn't gotten myself a birthday present in, like, four years. So I was like, eh. This one in particular was on sale for, like, 15% off. I'm like, yep. I'm accepting my fate. And then I did. And now here we are. And it's been a good boy. Heavy boy, though. This thing is a freaking, like... In a pinch, this is home defense. Like, someone took a sure... Or like a SM7B to the head, they're unconscious. This thing's a brick in terms of weight. Not that I would recommend doing that, obviously. Did it come with an arm or do you have a separate one? Uh, it does not come with an arm. I had an arm already that I was using for what microphone was i using before this was i using my freaking blue yeti up until this point i had to have been i think i must have been using the blue yeti so yeah just slapped it on there it's it's pretty easy to put in like the arms are pretty universal I did also need to buy a, what do you call it, like a sound box for it, because the Shure actually has, like, a fancy-ass cable. So I got a, uh, a Focus Right Scarlet something. Or probably a Scarlet Light? I think? I don't remember what it is. Look, it's just you plug it into it, and then that thing has a USB that you can plug into a USB, but into a USB plug, and then boom, sound. Oh no, I run a break. No, 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 no. Syrinx, you are misunderstanding. You don't use the sir for a masonry project. You use it for an emergency home defense. That is the only time when it should not be used for sound. When used for unexpected home defense requirements. And if you have it on the arm, it basically turns the arm into a mace. With enough effort, everything can be a weapon. Exactly, Devek. There was a... I think it was in D&D 3.5. There was a feat called Improvised Weapon. And the idea was, I think it was called Improvised Weapon. Or no, it was like Weapon Master. Oh, what the heck was it called again? Uh, basically, the idea was that if you were using anything that wasn't a weapon, you would get some negatives for using it because it was an unwieldy weapon. But um, with this feat, it would take away those negatives because it's basically the idea that you've just been in so many bar brawls in your life that you just know how to pick up a chair and use it like use it proficiently <laughs> or like you know you know exactly where to crack like a like a, a table leg so that you could take it as a mace Five feet is a feat like that called Tavern Brawler. Okay, yeah. 
there was a 3.5 version of that, and I can't remember what the heck it's called anymore. But yes, that's what I'm specifically... I'm specifically thinking of something similar to that, Nebec, where it's just like... Would you like to use, I don't know, like a bar stool as a weapon? Well, you've done it many times in your life, so go get him, soldier. <laughs> oh, wait, this is the wrong drawing tool. I'm supposed to be using cell. Which is way more difficult to use, in my opinion. So maybe I won't. Maybe I will just use this and just use it thinly. But I do love feats like that, where they're not super useful, but they just add, um, how to say, like they just add um, a lot of flair to your character. Fun fact, bar stools are not like in the movies. They don't break when you hit them with someone. The person breaks. Surprised me when I found out, don't ask. I'm not surprised, though, because bar stools are meant to be strong, right? Like, because they're supposed to hold anyone. Like, from, like, a five-foot, like, five-foot-nothing, like, 80-pound person to, like, a six-foot-eight, like, 300-pound trucker. Like, they're supposed to hold. That's what they're there for. So, yeah, I can totally understand that, like, when you hit someone with a bar stool that person goes down it the stool does not also i want to ask but i'll be nice same thing with beer bottles i mean beer bottles do shatter but they have a, a stronger how to say it and all hello moon by the way uh they take a they take a lot more force than you think they do but also, when they break, it's also awful, because it's just thick shards of glass everywhere. And yeah, yeah, Moon. Hey, why aren't you working? Hello? Uh-oh. Okay. Woo! Stroke waffle. I thought that my OBS was about to crash. There you go. You got what you wanted. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted? <gasps> Mad. You know what you did. This talk of weaponizing chairs reminds me of all the pro wrestling matches I used to watch hit each other with steel folding chairs. I believe, are those steel folding chairs not designed to be, you know, like props, quote unquote? Or are they actually folding, steel folding chairs and just, they've learned how to, you know, like take the hit and like swing them in a specific way. I've definitely heard of people doing, uh, going for a break the bottle over the head thing. Uh, and then the what does way more damage than they expected. Yeah, because it's thick shards of glass that's moving at a high velocity once it hits, right? Like, and it doesn't just shatter in your hand. There's a good chance that you're still holding the, uh, how to say it? Like the, I guess the neck, which is now just a serrate, like just a circle of serrated edge. And you're going down with their face, right? So there's a very good chance you're just... Not even the bottle breaking. The skull gives out under the instead of the bottle. Oh, God, could you imagine? Being like, I've seen movies. Whack. And you just watch as the bottle just sinks into their head. And also, hello, cooks. I mean, I've shattered beer bottles in my time. In a throw it against the the concrete wall to relieve stress kind of way. You throw it properly and it'll shatter. <laughs> Glass bottles are a lot, uh, a lot tougher than you think. Yeah. And how you doing, Cooks? Nice to see you. Fortunately, no pra Unfortunately, no practical experience on that front. No, I've luckily not been in any um, 
bar brawls before either. I've only been technically in two fights, and they were both just me getting punched in the face and me going like, all right, I'm gone. Goodbye. Were those two fights against Haya? No, 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 no. They were, they were very, very real. <laughs> one of them was my fault, and the other one was... I have no idea. I tried to sit on a bench and a guy just got up and punched me in the face. And I was like, okay, guess I'm not sitting on the on the bench then. That's cool. I've been in like, how to say it, like playful wrestling matches with friends though. There was a time when we were all studying for our exams and we were all just super just like anxious and like wound up just from stress and just tired and the whole apartment just turned into basically like a wrestling ring where just everybody was just like grappling and throwing each other around and it was a good time even the the one guy who lived in the uh, who lived in the basement came up to like do that, which is something, because he was not, like, a touchy person. And then we had to quit, because my my best bud uh, was wrestling with another one of our friends, and he grabbed him. How to say it? He grabbed him basically by the love handle and, like, squeezed his kidney. And, <laughs> and he was like, Ugh! and there was, like, a pause. And it's just like, all right, I think we went. I think we got. I think. I think we went overboard. I think it's time to not wrestle anymore. <laughs> the dude had actual like bruises where my best bud had grabbed them. Like you could see the finger prints in form of bruises. <laughs> Tries to be peaceful on stream. I don't want peace. I want problems anyway. Well, jokes on her. I don't cause problems. I finish them. <laughs> Throws high into ocean. Do you still think you could jump on my shoulders? I don't think so anymore, Syrinx. I think I'm too... Um... Uh... Unfit? I can't think of the word. Hello, Bells. Yeah, two-year anniversary. Woo! There we go. Got to be at a certain angle for it to catch the, the tongue. Bleh. 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 Yeah, there's no celebration. It's just a statement. It's just like, we did it. We did it two years ago today. I started streaming and I've almost been streaming. Almost been streaming every week since then. I think I missed a couple of weeks when I had my second animation, remote animation job. Because at that point I was doing like 60, 70 hours a week. And it was just like, I don't have the energy to stream. And thank you, Moons. Very appreciated. I'm going to try this again. I hate that I want to do it in one go. And I know it's not going to work. You know what I mean? Where it's just like, no, 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 no. We can do this. And it's like, you can't. And you shouldn't. Stop. And it's like, no, I'm going to try. we go and then the cloth is actually going to be like this is actually going to require kind of a more 
specific thing, because otherwise it's not going to work out the way I want. Yes, Lunity. Hello. So my brain is apparently so fried right now. I was like, why isn't Will spooky? And then my brain immediately was like, well, because it isn't October anymore. I'm sorry? Cobalt? Cobalt, are you okay? Do you need to lay down? Do you want me to be spooky? It's October. It's okay, Luna D. He's, he's just having a second. He's coming back. I believe in Cobalt. He can pull himself back. He can pull himself back from the brink. He's gonna drag his uh, himself back. Fine. Brain is just a liar. Man, freaking mood. Dude, I spent two hours last night in a dream that I was doing a Final Fantasy XIV raid that I was supposed to do on stream, but I was doing it then anyway, and I kept waking up being like, no, I'm supposed to do this on stream. It's like, well, you already started, so you gotta keep doing the raid. And I'm like, I don't even know what raid this is. And it's like, but you know what you gotta do. And it's like, okay. So I feel you. The brain is a liar. Is writing a creepypasta. Oh my God, yes, please. Write creepy pastas and send them to me. I will read them happily. And how are you doing, by the way, Luna? Yeah, I hope that your weekend is treating you well so far. Wait, you've like just woken up, haven't you? Yeah. I hope at least. I hope that you got some sleep and that you're not still awake. Luna, you better not still be awake. Better have gotten some sleep last night or I'm going to worry. I'll be like this the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Slept like five. That's not enough. Luna D. You got to take care of yourself. Oh, Luna D, on a side note, I finished ARR last night. Finally. You got through it faster. Oh, dude, no, 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 you don't understand, Luna D. I was putting in about seven hours a day for like three days to catch up. I was like full-time jobbing that thing to make it happen. And I got so mad because there was a super intriguing story that I will not say anything about, but it was a super intriguing story that I was so like into and was like, yes, I want this. It's personal, it's wonderful. And then it's just like, you have to do Crystal Tower. I'm like, what? It's like, yeah, you have to finish Crystal Tower, otherwise you can't keep going. And I'm like, but I don't want to. I want the personal stuff. I was arguing about it with uh, with, with Kudju the other day. Um, so you're in Heaven Sword now. I am. But I'm. It's it's such, like... The second half of A Realm Reborn storytelling is fantastic. Like, I cannot praise it enough. It gives you three, like, about two to four story threads at a time, but does them in a way that you are never lost. Like, it will say, hey, we're following this story thread now, but this other thread will be mentioned, and sometimes A plot will weave into B plot a little bit. Like, they'll cross in some regard fantastic setup i was so invested the entire time and then out of nowhere as you guys know that there's kind of like how to say it there's a couple different ways to tell stories and like one of them is like a super localized like two big ones for fantasy is 
super localized. Like it's you having, you know, like imagine like it doesn't go further than like a town, you know, like it's connected to like a handful of like player, like players are in there. You're like, okay, this person's important, this person's important. We're getting like personal stuff from each of them. You're learning more about it. You're uncovering stuff. And then the other one is like, the world is ending. We need your help. Everybody's gonna die. Da 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 da. And it's very irritating where you're in like this very personal, like, mystery style thing where it's just like ooh what's going to happen what players are involved you know like who's who's doing what who you know like what's going where oh we just got some new information which gives me like more potential things to think about and like ah this is so like nice and contained and then halfway through it the game puts a barrier between you and the story and says you have to go save the world now and you cannot go back to the personal story until you save the world. And it genuinely made the Crystal Tower less enjoyable for me because I wanted to keep doing the personal story. So, afterwards I finished Crystal Tower and I had some people being like, Oh, how'd you like Crystal Tower? It was cool, right? I'm like, it was annoying. Like, the story was fine. But the whole time, because I'm being forced to do it, I'm resenting it because I want to keep going. Like, imagine for a second that you're in the middle of, like, I don't know, like a murder mystery, for instance. You know, like, imagine, like, a classic, you know, like, on, you know, like, who done it? the train is always moving kind of thing. And you're trying to figure out who killed, you know, like, Colonel Mustard. You know, like, who done it? You know, like, and you're going through peeps and you're trying to figure out uh, how to say it. And you're, like, talking to people and you're just like, Mrs. Peacock, where were you at, you know, like, at 7, 10 a.m. this morning? Da, da, da. It's like, well, I was in, you know, like, the, uh, how to say it, in, like, the, the in my chambers doing da, 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 da. And you're like, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. And then at one point, somebody comes up to you and just like, I have information to tell you that Mrs. Peacock was in fact not in her chambers at 7, 10 a.m. And you're like, oh my God, but that doesn't mean that she's particularly done it because this is the thing, da, da, da. And like, you know, like, like oh, the, the, the person was killed by a gun and I know, and like, you know already through like some other stuff that Mrs. Peacock is like afraid of guns because like, as a child, she had a dramatic experience. You're like, oh, well, it couldn't be her. But what if something else? Blah, 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 blah. And you're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, you're like just about to go and talk to Mrs. Peacock again. And the game, and like, you get literally like teleported out of the train. And you're like, hey, this place that you don't know anything about, you have to deal with that now. And you cannot figure out the stuff on the train until you're done. And also, the implications of the thing that you are have that you're forced to do right now is like colossal in scale. Like it is the it is literally the the train there was a murder and you have to figure it out. Versus like there is like I don't know like someone's about to detonate a freaking bomb and you have to figure out a way to deal with it. But the person who is detonating the bomb is like immortal and like nothing that you can do to, that you do to them in this present time will actually make them stop so you have to figure out a way to make them not mortal and also did you know that this bomb is like legitimately going to like is like going to put a hole in the earth the size of texas and if they do that it's going to cause literal like end of the world situations and it's just like i mean that's neat and all but i wanted to figure out who killed colonel mustard that's where my brain is right now. That's all I care about. <laughs> like, it was just so, like, don't do this game. Don't, don't take this. Do this after, like, A Realm Reborn is done. Like, you're doing it in the wrong spot. <laughs> Anyway, Rant Over was genuinely just flabbergasted. Like, it was very irritating. It genuinely bothered me.
other than that, like, the actual story of Crystal Tower is fine. Like, it's good. It has layers to it. It has a nice beginning and end. You learn a bunch of things. You know that it's going to be relevant later because there's no way they would force you to do this if it wasn't relevant later. So it's like, okay, cool. You've given me another puzzle piece. Unfortunately, you're forcing me to go and play another puzzle when I'm intently working on a current puzzle and I'm halfway through it and I think I'm starting to see what it looks like. And now you're telling me to start with a brand new puzzle. And it's like, I'm not happy with what you're doing right now. Sorry, I'll read it real quickly. Do you need a team to do Final Fantasy XIV or can you do it solo? You can do most of it solo, Cobalt. Uh, and when you can't, you can do uh, you can do dungeons with randos. Where you just prep up and just do the thing. And most people are pretty reasonable. I've, uh, last night spent, uh, about four, five hours leveling the Dark Knight, because I wanted to try the Dark Knight. So, I basically just did nothing but just, like, random Q dungeons, and Dark Knight is a tank, so I had to learn how to be a tank. So, I'm just jumping into places with random peeps, and it was a cool experience. Like, I had people who were, like very supportive. I had very quiet people. How many hours did you sleep? Me? I slept like seven and a half. I was up until like 7 a.m. I spent a lot of time last night on Final Fantasy. And like, you know, you get, sometimes you get dinguses and that's just how it is. Hypocrite. Uh, seven and a half hours is more than five hours, Lunady. Hold on. I have an emote for this. Seven hours is more than five. <laughs> or seven and a half hours is more than five. But, like, yeah, Cobalt, you can play it... Like, story-wise, fantastic, would recommend it. The first half is a lot slower. It very much does a... How to say it? Like, it's a... The intro is a very slow build, which I personally like stuff like that. I like slow build stories. So it's a slow build that slowly, like... Like, how to say it? Like, lets you bleed into the world a little bit. Like, figure stuff out. Uh... VTubers famous for their terrible sleep schedules. Oh, you're speaking from experience from that one, Cobalt. Um, but yeah, a lot of the stuff you can do by yourself, they've re recently, I say, I think it was a year ago, they actually added that a bunch of dungeons you can do solo with a bunch of NPCs. So really easy to just be like, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to do this dungeon jump in the npcs know how to do the mechanics and they will do them accordingly what are you talking about uh, perfectly healthy and not at all degen sleep schedules why do you lie why must you turn my stream into a house of lies but yeah a lot of hours in that game and Sorry, just to finish that up, like, I had a really cool moment with the, with the, uh, how to say it, with the tanking, because I'm learning how to tank. Tanking's not too difficult, all things considered, in Final Fantasy, at least, you know, maybe I'm speaking out of my butt with that, but, um, I'll turn it into the House of Pancakes. Well, come bring some pancakes over then, but, like, I had someone who popped in, and they were a healer, and they immediately said at the beginning, just like, Hey, I have a disability. I'm going to be slow and I'm probably going to get lost. Like, please just have patience. And I'm just like, yeah, of course, we'll pull one, we'll pull one group at a time. Like, no, no issues there. And it was just a cool little moment where like somebody like quickly was just like, hey, I don't want to make a big deal out of this, but please be aware of this. And it's just like, yeah, absolutely, why wouldn't I? And then I had somebody pop in who was like, yeah, uh, I'm playing with a friend right now. They've never played before. Uh, they don't really want to talk in chat. So, like, if they need to say anything, like, I'll convey it for them. And I'm just like, yeah, no problem. And they're just like, okay. Um, 
You ran well, Baron. Barely do anything. They suck. No, they don't. Tanks don't suck. My big thing right now is I'm trying to figure out how to maximize my damage output as a tank. But the other thing, too. So, in dungeons, as you're going through, I think it's as, like, damage is dealt and damage is taken. Um, a group limit break bar fills up. And I think there's three bars in total. But at any point in time, I think when one bar is full, you can use it. And I had one group that we were doing a dungeon with. And the way that the limit break is, is depending on what class you're playing depends on what it does. So if you're playing as a tank, it gives an AoE armor increase to everybody. So not particularly useful. Probably has some uses, but still. If you're playing as a healer, I think it does a mass heal, if I recall correctly. For DPS, there's three different things. If you are a ranged caster, you do an AoE blam. Thank you, Kuma. That's very kind of you. You know, you have to place down an AoE and it goes... If you are a ranged projectile, you do a straight line shot. And if you do... Dang it, Kobold, I'm so sorry. I forgot the stretch and I forgot the hydrate. I will do the hydrate again. No, I didn't forget the hydrate. I didn't... I did do the stretch. I, I did do the hydrate. I haven't done the stretch. I'll double stretch in a second. But if you're a melee user you do one huge hit to the opponent to the opponent making melee in my opinion one of the stronger limit breakers so but the thing is what you want to do traditionally is use the limit break on the final boss when he's at like 10 percent you know like do a huge boom at the end so it speeds up the fight in some cases specifically so that you can beat the rage timer I was in one dungeon, and we were on the second boss out of three. At the very beginning of the fight, one of my players pops the limit break. A one bar limit break, and I'm like, sure, <laughs> why not? And then was just cautious, I would say, just like moving back and forth, and my healer wasn't healing me for some reason, which was a little bit irritating, but whatever but then i'm just like ah whatever you know we'll just keep pushing through so we get to the final fight and the final fight is this dragon who at certain percentages of health will go in uh, like immortal and like fly upwards and then turn half of the arena into like ice damage for a period of time and this melee does the limit break just as the boss goes immune and you just watch them do like the <laughs> zero damage it's just like oh god how i hope that you're learning from this because this hurts Anyway, enough rambling about Final Fantasy XIV. Let's get back to doing art, shall we? You know, that thing that I'm supposed to be doing right now. Apologies. I played a lot of Final Fantasy last night, so I am, uh... I am very in that brain right now. Where is my reference? All right, I'm supposed to do double stretches for Cobalt. All right, we'll double stretch. So we're just gonna. Mm. Mm. Literally just making freaking diamond-esque shapes with my hands. There you go, Cobalt. Double stretch complete. Excuse me. That was your fault. That's what happens with the stretch. <laughs> right? That's how it works. Where'd I put my pen? Oh, no. Uh-oh. 
Where did I put my pen? Oh, back in the stand! Haha. <laughs> Perfect. Nailed it. Crushed it. Don't mind me. It's just dumb. I have a question. Go on, Blue. You have the floor. Have a favorite stream you've done from your two year that you've done from your two years. Um, Subathon was pretty fun. Uh, I really liked the spooky stories from last year. They were really fun. I think one of the most memorable streams I had was, I don't know if this is my favorite, but it's definitely like one that I cherish. I don't remember what it was anymore. I don't remember what we were playing. I think it might've been like Mirror's Edge. But I just remember getting on lot, like waking up just like so, super depressed like I was just in a really really bad spot I had been for the whole week and I just remember being like miserable like just like no energy like didn't really want to eat anything didn't really want to get out of bed like was just like genuinely just like chugging that depresso espresso and i was just like no you have to stream that's what you have to do today you know you need to do one thing today you worthless piece of shit you know like that kind of brain and i just like got on and was just like oh god it's this is just gonna be like this is a mistake and I just got on and chat was like super on point and like really funny and just like really bringing like their A game. Like chat just carried that stream. And like afterwards when I finally ended stream, I like sat there and was just like so like blown away by like how well the stream went and how nice chat was being and how you know like i don't know how to describe yeah i don't know it's, it was just like i don't know i don't know how to word it properly that was probably one of my favorite streams though in terms of just like memorableness like I was still depressed as fuck after that stream, but it helped. It was like, okay, yeah, you can keep doing this. Like, things will be fine, like, when it comes to streaming. Like, people will... How to say it? Like, there are peeps who can help carry the situation if you can't. It's like, okay. Huh, <sighs> fine. Blech. Strop waffle. Yeah. There you go, you got your darn head pats. Oh, also every um every stranded deep stream with Haya. Like, genuinely, Haya is, like, one of my favorite people. Just hands down when it comes to collabing. Like, it's just always good. Like, even like she said, um... Uh, like she said last stream, it's just like... Yeah, for, like, a lot of other people, it's like... 
yeah, you know, you, you collab and you like want to try to make sure that you're putting like in like a good impression with everybody and like you're trying to like plan things, but like just like for her, like for me, it's just like, yeah, I'm not collabing. I'm just hanging out with Haya. You know, I just, I've, I, I have an excuse to go play Stranded Deep with Haya. And chat gets to come along for that, so for that madness. Sorry, I'm also just... And thanks, Moon, and thank you, Blue. That's very kind of you. Oh, that's where I'm doing this wrong. Okay. The general uh, concept is not wrong, but it's supposed to go down. It goes along the body. There we go. That makes more sense regardless, doesn't it? Because gravity is affecting these parts. They should be heading downwards. There you go. I guess that's my answer. Unfortunately, I don't really remember a lot of streams. Not like... Not the intended to be... How to say? Um, it's not like a stab or anything. It's just like, I just have a terrible memory. Thank you for your answer. No problem at all, Blue. Hold on, sorry, just checking something. Oh, no secondo, ladies and gentlemen. Need to do a thing really quickly. All right, so we just gotta draw the uh, the the water bottle. Which will probably require. All right, we're at seventeen right now. Have other questions obviously by all means go ahead and ask I have nothing to hide until I do but we'll get to that particular uh, conundrum when we get there won't we We go we have the general start down let's go baby progress oh wait we need one more thing and this is gonna be a super thin there you go 
go. Also, I guess that should be there, I think. No. Where is it? Like right about here? Close enough. Don't know how I'm going to approach the coloring yet, though. It's like a part of me that just wants to do it more like a... How to say it? Like a really, really soft color. Artificer, how's it going, my dude? Thank you so much for stopping by. How are you? How has your streams been going recently? I'm sorry that I haven't been able to make it to them. My sleep schedule is absolute garbage right now. sudden bright flash out of the corner of my eye and then I look over and there's nothing there and that's when the paranoia set in that's what I was going for blue worst episode ever I will only watch it three more times today ways that we could do the coloring here and I'm not sure how I want to do it yet. All of this is just completely unplanned. Just like, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll figure it out or something. But now I'm kind of like, oh no, am I going to find it? What if we just... There, and then just like really dramatize the colors like you know like this is the water this is the body do kind of a how to say it like the colors are more a representation than anything else I think that's what we're gonna try to go for here Stream is going okay. I got to encounter some technical issues and frustration slash difficulties sections of the game. Got to get good, I guess. Nah. If things aren't working and they're frustrating you from a game perspective, I say streaming wise, unless you want to be a streamer that specifically does that, switch to something that you want that you want to play. Like switch to something else. nothing wrong with you going like not today i think i don't think i'm in the i'm in the mood for this today obviously if you want to do that like do the things that you want to do how's it going mandalorian at the end of the day be the streamer that you want to be but also don't feel like you have to do the difficult stuff you know like if you're like man i just want to stream i don't know casual game name here today 
That's totally fine. Be the streamer you want the world to see. Exactly, Cobalt. I mean, that's rich coming from me, because, like, art frustrates the heck out of me, but I still do art. But I also know that I can chat with you guys during this time, so... Even though there's a lot of times where I just immediately just go like, Bleh. like just can't figure out how to do things. Ireland just lost to New Zealand in the quarter of rugby tournament for the fourth time. I am unfamiliar with rugby, but I is is that bad? I presume that's bad. Oh wait, hold on. I know what we're going to call the drink and what text we're going to use for it. I need a better color though. Like a royal purple. Why would you change to that? I told you what color to use. Sportsman. Wait, do I have to do capitals? Sportsman. Uh, I'm done with switching. Uh, I'm done with switching a couple times. After all, I'm not enjoying the games. After all, if I'm not enjoying the games, the yeah, exactly. There you go, Artificer. That's a good attitude. Dang it, what the heck did I say again? Sportsman, like, fuel your passion. <laughs> I think that's what we were gonna call it. Good luck, Cobalt. Thank you so much for stopping by. Rugby is like American football, but the helmets are optional. There's no shoulder pads. People bite each other's ears and stuff. In something called a scrum. It's also a lot more rough and their helmets are flimsy. Eh, doesn't sound like that's up my alley. I mean, I don't like football. I don't, I don't like American football to start with, so... Really doesn't sound up my alley. But I'm glad you're having a good time watching it. Catchy slogan? Oh, thank you. I feel like it needs, like, something. What would that be? side of the ellipse would be ew no not teal teal does not work oh that's so bright what about this no green is going to work best in this background. 
Blue, help. You're good at this stuff. Get out of here. Yellow? Oh, yellow might work. Let's try. Oh, actually, yeah. Yellow, I think, is, is, I think, I think that's our winner. Kind of like a pale yellow. Looks at colors. Thanks, Doc. I don't understand Artificer, but I am willing to hear the reference if you're willing to share. So something's up. There we go. What if you did a circle gradient around the logo for the background? I'm not sure what you mean, Blue. I would need to see it. Now I'm doing the thing, I'm thinking about the thing that I normally do, where I just do this. Shadow. Boom. <laughs> Actually, no, that needs to be up a little bit more. Boom. Purple from Daily Dose meme. Very not safe for work. Oh dear. I don't know what Daily Dose meme is, but now I'm afraid. But green and purple are very, um, how to say, they do work together. They're technically, how to say, they're complementary. They're, they're complementary colors, just like orange and blue, which is why I like using like orange and blue as my color scheme, because they work really well. Okay, I still, I want to do this like water effect, but I have no idea how to do that. So this is gonna be a little bit of an adventure. For a second. How do they do it? What's their secret? What's their angle? I'm blocking chat completely, I apologize. A 
oh wow this is just an entire like how to draw sweat properly thing complicated but very interesting Sorry, I am. I am on a learning kick at the moment. Like, yes, internet, teach me how to. effect to some extent but like I don't think I can replicate this I don't think I have the skills for this this is difficult believe in you well there's your first mistake blue and you as well, Cobalt. Also, welcome back. How was your lurk? Fuel your passion. I'm trying, Cobalt. Oh, how dare you. How dare you. Fine, hydrate. And we'll stretch again. I see what you're doing here. That was a nice pop. Actually, can we get a pop up the shoulder? Yeah, we can. Can never pop the other one, unfortunately. Oh well. Okay, so as far as I understand, the way that a sweat drop works, let's do 50%. There's like a shadow trail. Like so, and then there's like a super thin secondary part to it. And then we'll call this shadow. Shadow. I'll call this highlight. This one is white. And it highlights this edge. Like this area? It's like this small little spot, probably right here. But then below that, there has to be like the darken. Which is like just. That's the real problem, too. It's 
Kind of like that? Sort of? I think the highlight needs to be bigger. Thank you, Flossie. How you doing tonight? I hope that you're doing well. There you go. My first attempt at a sweat drop. That was a mistake. Doing all right. Uh, how are you on to of the weather today? How are you on top of the weather today? I don't know what that means. Oh, on top of the weather today. Oh, I'm doing fine. I did a good. I'm having a, I'm having a, I'm having a, I'm having a swell time, one might say. Gosh dang it. I think we're going to reduce this to like 70%. And then for the darkening. Swell is splendid. What you drawing? So, Kaju's uh, shenanigans has demanded that I draw the th prompts, sports, sweat, and passion. So, as of right now, we have passion. We're starting to work on the sweat and sports. It just works. And also, this is a little bit off, so I'm going to see if I can bend it into the shape that I kind of want it to be. Yeah, I can. Ah! <laughs> Very, very nice. I see the vision. Why, thank you. I just didn't want to draw something super complicated. That was basically all that there is to this. Now, my curiosity provokes if I can draw... a droplet on the chin... wouldn't it?
Not terrible. Doesn't quite work, though. But I'm starting to kind of figure out how sweat drops works, which is already... Uh, that's, that, that's an accomplishment in and of itself. I think that's better. Ah, crap. Which layer did I draw that on? Thank goodness. Also, Flossie, how's your weekend been treating you? Oh, Flossie. I don't think that we had this discussion yet. Was? No, wait, you did tell me. He was actually a murderer. Eugene. Eugene Aram was actually a murderer. We did have this discussion. You've told me, and it was fascinating. The weekend needed to be kinder, to be honest. But I have one day left to redeem itself. Hello, Vitrify. How are you? read honestly yeah it was very good i enjoyed the heck out of that story flossy that was genuinely a like i don't know i have i really enjoy poetry for some reason like that is definitely a thing that i like unashamedly i'm just like yeah i like this So it was right up my alley. It was a very good choice. Thank you. I'm glad. I thought you would despite being on the longer side. No, no. Once I started reading it, I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. This is good. I mean, there was some stuff that I fumbled on. Surprise. You know, dyslexia. on this for a second. But yeah, it was a very good one. I enjoyed the heck out of it, Flossy. Thank you so much. I'll be posting it and the other two on the YouTubes because that's just, you know, what you're supposed to do as a content creator. You have a YouTube? Oh my goodness. Get out of here, Blue. There's, I hate that I'm getting more and more into the streamer <laughs> mindset. Because, like, after I ranted about Final Fantasy, there's this, like, moment of, like, should I cut that out? Is that content? Is that, you know, just, like, the problem, the problem with A Realm Reborn? Nice and clickbaity. I 
we'll do one more drop. Eh, no, this kind of conveys it. It feels like it's not enough, though. It feels like this spot is really empty. Eh. Oh, goodness. I'm not clipping this and putting it out there. I've done it before. Can't do that. That's a dead horse at this point, chat. Come on now. I think that's the drop that we needed. Hold on, then I need one more thing. This one's gonna be one, that's gonna be fun. Put me in the screen cap, oh no. Chat's being demanding again. sneeze compilation. Oh, there's one gonna happen, Kuma. Don't you worry. As much as it might potentially cause some strife in my life, I enjoy making the dumb little sneeze comps. I think they're fun. Does that look like it's wet? Or am I doing this very incorrectly? That's the aim at the moment. Try to make it look like it's kind of damp. I don't think it's quite landing how I think it is. Maybe I'm just not quite nailing it, but I hope the general idea is there. There you go, boom, done, two hours. Oh, then we gotta do a quick. That'd be about right. There's the shoulder, so be right there. <laughs> no one can see it. All right, there you go. Boom, art done. Mmm, baby, let's go. Dunskies. Easy clap, exactly. Well, I learned how to draw sweat today. It's not perfect. I think I can figure. I think I can figure out a way to do it more correctly. But I'm content with this. I think this is a good. This is a pretty good. How to say? Setup also unintentionally drew myself in hindsight, but we're not going to comment on that. Kaju gets his damn sweat. He gets what he wants. Hmm. This is the start of Will's modeling career. Is that how that works? Is that how that works, Blue? 
I'm just trying to figure out where I can potentially send us. For a raid. Eh. Congratulations on two years. Oh, thank you, Solarcy. It's very kind of you. Oh, wait. I haven't gotten a chance to raid Denziel in quite a while. I feel like I owe him at least a raid one of these times, because he's a good lad. Airy Chan? I don't actually know who that is, Brian. Let me look them up. How are you, Solarce? I hope that your day is going well so far. Oh god, ads, please. You ever just see a commercial where it forces someone to dance and you're just like, I feel bad for this person? You know what I mean? Ads are cringe. Uh, just staying with a friend for the weekend, about to head to bed, but want to give grats. Thank you, Solarcy. Oh, yeah, you're going on an adventure soon, right? You got your compi all packed up and you're having an adventure? I think that's the case, at least. Unless I'm just completely off base. In which case, I'm so sorry for being just disgustingly wrong. All right, let me check how they're doing really quick. Uh, mute that for a second. Yeah, we'll don't we'll, we'll raid Denziel. I think that's the correct choice here. Not an adventure yet. Escaping my landlord for the weekend. Fair enough. But that's an adventure in and of itself, right? But I hope things get better for you, Solarcy, genuinely. All right. We're going to raid Denziel. He is currently playing... Deep Rock Galactic with the boys. So yeah, that's where we're going to go. All right, so socials. Boom. You guys know them, but there they are. Use them as you see fit. But we're going to raid Denziel Jones. Raid S. Raid F. I'm sorry that I'm going so fast. I'll be honest with you guys. I want to get Dark Knight to level 50 tonight. And I'm sorry that I'm being speedy. I'm, I'm being very task-oriented mindset right now. And I'm sorry. But thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for joining me on the little art adventure. Thank you for being supportive. Thank you for giving suggestions. We appreciate the heck out of it. Thank you guys for being here for the... You know what? Fine. Blue? Just for you, I'm going to go across the street and I'm going to buy cake. I will post it on disc on the Discord channel just as uh, to, for you as proof. Fair? Fair? Yeah. Also, I forgot to ask people about what the heck a uh, treat stream is and if anybody knows what it is. I'll have to ask I'll have to ask on Tuesday. So, all right everybody, really quickly, thank you guys so much for sticking around with you, chatting with you, lurking with you. Just popped in and out for a second. Really should super appreciate it. Hope that you guys are having a great day, afternoon, evening, or night, whatever time it happened to be for you. I hope that you guys take care of yourselves, hope that you're drinking plenty of water. And when you finally do sleep, whatever time it happened to be for you, I hope that you have a very restful sleep. I will see you guys over at Denzel's and I will see you guys on Tuesday where I might be doing a collab with some peeps. Mm, that's exciting. 
See you guys then. Bye.